Remote Desktop allows us to connect to and manage remote computer. It is used for remote administration or to run remote applications. Let's configure our Windows XP system to accept remote desktop connections. This will allow us to connect to our computer remotely. Let's go to the Start menu, right-click My Computer, and select Properties. This will open System Properties. Now, go to the Remote tab. Let's check Allow Users to Connect Remotely to this computer and click Apply. Remember, if we are using remote desktop, all our users should have password enabled accounts. Let's click the select remote users. This is a list of users who are allowed to make a remote connection to our computer. Notice that members of the administrators group can connect even if they're not listed. To add a user, we have to click on the add. We can enter a username, click check names, and then click OK button. In this example, we have entered Kim Verson. We can also select advanced. And then click find now to generate the list of users on our computer. In this example we will select Anderson. Let's click OK. These users can now connect to our computer using remote desktop. Another thing that we have to keep in mind are firewall settings. When we enable remote desktop on our machine, Windows will automatically open necessary ports in Windows Firewall. To check our settings, we will go to the Control Panel, Network Connections, right-click Local Area Connection, select its properties and go to the Advanced tab. Here, click on the Settings button, and go to the Exceptions tab. As we can see, Remote Desktop is enabled, and it will go through off our firewall. Let's select Remote Desktop, and click on the Edit. Here we can change the scope of our settings. Let's click on the Change Scope. As we can see, Remote Desktop is enabled for any computer, including those on the Internet. We can change that to our network only, or only to particular computer's IP addresses. Let's click OK, and then OK again. This settings are applied on all connections on our computer. If we want to edit settings for individual connections, we can click on Advanced tab, select a connection that we want to edit Internet in this example, and click on the settings. In our example, we can see that Remote Desktop is not enabled on the Internet connection. However, Remote Desktop will still work. It will work because we have put an exception in our Windows Firewall. If we want to enable ports only for individual connections, we should remove an exception from Windows Firewall. Then we should edit Firewall settings for individual connection. This option is important when we are sharing an Internet connection on our computer. When we are using Internet Connection Sharing ICS, our computer is acting as a firewall for whole network. Because of that we have to add an exception in firewall for Internet Connection. The default port for remote desktop is 3389. Now we are ready to establish a remote desktop connection. In this example we will connect to another computer on our local area network. Let's go to the Start menu. All Programs, Accessories, and then Remote Desktop Connection. To make a connection simply enter the computer name or address and then click Connect. However, we can optimize connection properties before we create the connection. To do that, let's click on Options. On the General tab, we should enter a name of the remote computer. In our example the computer name will be Verson. Username is Kim Verson. We will also check Allow Me to Save Credentials. Let's go to the Display tab. Here we can choose the size of our remote desktop. We can also set the color quality. This way we can minimize the amount of data sent over the connection. 
because we will use this connection on LAN, we will leave the default settings. Let's go to the local resources tab. If we are on a slower connection we can disable sounds. Here, we can also configure the remote system to access resources on our local system. For example, right now, if we want to print something when working on remote computer, it will actually print on the local computer instead of the remote computer. We will leave the default settings. Let's go to the Programs tab. The Programs tab allows us to launch programs. Let's go to the Experience tab. Here we can optimize data for various connection speeds. Notice that right now the connection will be optimized for dial-up speed. From the drop-down menu we will select LAN, because our remote computer is on local network. We are ready now to connect to the remote computer. Before we do that, we can save this connection by going to the General tab, and clicking on a Save As button.